Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today concerning love. What's going on for the sign of Cancer please? Concerning love. Mm, this is for the month of August. Boy is the year travelling quickly, or it seems to be. I watched a programme on time last night. Oh, Brian Cox, brilliant physicist. He was telling us all about time. Very interesting concept. And how we all see time very, very differently. It's, I found this very, very interesting. So let's see what the month of August is bringing you with regards to your love situation. Choices for one thing. Choices and confusion. Uncertainty. Not sure. Mm. Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Got two sevens here. Fantastic. Temperance card. In the majors, that's 14. Temperance card. Trying to balance your imagination with practicality. Too much imagination. Not seeing things clearly. Too much practicality. That kind of sends your intuition array. It's kind of like balancing the two. Conflict in the past, five of wands. Attracting the attention of many people. Now making a choice. Four of pentacles, holding back. Hmm, not surprising. Which way do I go? I kind of feel like you are stuck between a rock and a hard place. Whatever choice you make now, you're going to upset somebody. I'm kind of getting a lot of you are biding your time just to see how it pans out, how it works out. You're remaining in full control. You know, I've got the old emperor at the bottom here, and this is you taking control of your life. In the, you could be dealing with an Aries in this situation, who in the past was very, very controlling, and it caused a lot of conflict. You know, there could also be for some of you children involved here. This is why you're holding back from a decision. Somebody here for a few of you, you're putting the children first. Near future, six of cups. Yeah. Reconnecting with the past, thinking about the past and getting the chance to put it to bed once and for all. If that's what you choose. This could go two ways, this old Six of Cups. You know, you can choose to go forward with this person or set the record straight, reiterate your position and let the past stay in the past. It's not really a simple card from my perspective because this can mean reconciliation on friendship level, which a lot of you are screaming, I don't want friendship. <laughs> I can hear it, you know, but it's so many levels this and this is why it brings in this energy, confusion, wondering what to do, wondering if you made the wrong choice. It gets you questioning yourself. Simply because of this conflict in the past and there were a lot of unanswered questions. But you are definitely holding back and waiting. Trying to make a major decision here. Wondering whether to give this person another chance. I don't use the word second chance with that judgment card because it can mean second chance, third chance, fourth chance, fifth chance. You know, 
been going around in circles with this person in the past, gave them many chances. So, yeah, do you give them another chance? Do you open this Pandora's box again? It will depend on your particular situation. Three of Swords energy. Now, a lot of you could be in another connection, especially, and especially where children's involved. You know, there's Three of Swords energy. It's one of separation. There's somebody here who is continually in your head or you're continually thinking about it. You can't get them out of your brain no matter how hard you try. But you're holding fire. I don't literally mean you're holding fire in your hand. You're, I mean you're holding back. You're holding back. big decision on your happiness here but there is a door opening for you mm -hmm. oh, and another 10 two 10s in a row big changes this is like the world card in my book 10s are the endings of scenario the endings of a this decision will be like offloading a huge weight on off your shoulders it will there's communication coming in and communication going out will alleviate some of this confusion will alleviate a lot of the stress if you choose to talk to this person Yeah, I often, I've got a feeling neither you or this person is in another connection. Yep, waiting for the right moment. Yeah, gaining stability from all the aggravation, from all the conflict, moving on from it. Yeah. This is also representative to stability in a new environment, but will require a lot of planning. That's hence the communication. Mm. There's certainly a love interest here. There will be a chance to reconnect with this person. And things will have changed. You know, during a separation, things do change. You know, you want to give this person another chance, some of you, but there's a lot of mistrust here. You're questioning their motives. You suspect it's deception. You suspect they coming in because they want something to their advantage. There's lots of different reasons here, but there's a lot of mistrust. There's certainly the breakup of the third party here. And this third party influence could could well be another person on their side or a person on your side uh, and as I say children there's a lot of heartache over this it could well be you're separated from a partner and your children and there's a chance here to get back with them mm -hmm. yeah doing it very very differently There's a genuine offer here. I'm, I'm getting sincere communication. Yeah. Finally letting go of the past. Making a major decision. I feel this, this, this point where you finally make a decision to let go of past negativity... And getting some of the answers you want is finally coming to a point. This, this what's going on, this communication. You know, this planning, planning your way forward. It will give you the chance to finally drop these burdens. But the old hangman is kind of a sacrificial energy. It's kind of like, you know, to make the progress here. There's travel here. 
You could well have to give up a job. But I am getting a sacrificial energy, giving up something to get something much better. You've, you, tr you distrust this person's motives, though, because they do tend to blow hot and cold. You know, the red pants, blue jacket there. This person kind of is like a split personality. You know, you there is some mistrust there and you don't entirely believe what it is you're seeing and hearing. I'm getting your waiting. It's kind of like you're waiting for the proof of the pudding. As we, UK, we have a saying, the proof's in the pudding. You know, the proof's in what they do rather than what they say. I hope that's helped. Thank you for watching.